Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, my good friends, to another edition of Trad Cat Night. Breaking news right here on the Trad Cat Night YouTube channel. Folks, thank you all for your continued support over the years. Hard to imagine uh, five plus years here with Trad Cat Night. The last year, of course, being over at tradcatnight.org, your one stop shop, if you will, for all the day's latest church apostasy news. Uh, and end time related news, folks. Uh, I want to thank uh, all of those who recently uh, signed up to the website. Welcome all those new members. Uh, and uh, we've got a lot to get through in this short little promo piece. Uh, get through the, some of the latest podcasts I had today. Uh, but tomorrow, for you Catholics out there, Dr. Peter Honowski joins the podcast. But it's going to be a video interview. So you'll be able to see... Peter and myself will probably go for at least an hour tomorrow. We're going to be talking about the fake sister Lucia situation and all the latest nonsense coming from Francis. You are not going to want to miss that one. Uh, I also have on uh, a, a guy who's come onto the scene making some absolutely funny memes. Uh, his name's Sal the Agris. You can find him on uh, Twitter, by the way. Um, and uh, we're going to bring him on tomorrow. We're going to be talking about the left, the liberalism that is pervading this country. Uh, the whole false right narrative as well. They control both sides of the coin, politically speaking. Uh, Sal does a great job of presenting uh, what I call a sermon in a sentence in these memes. And uh, he's going to be on the podcast tomorrow as well. Uh, on Monday, the big one, uh, we run a podcast series with Xavier Arau, who's a notable uh, Catholic prophecy author, uh, came over from France here to the United States working on a new book on Marie-Julie Jehenny and her prophecies, and the granddaughter of the original Grand de la Marquis, who was the original biographer of Marie-Julie Jehenny, who penned down all these French prophecies of Marie-Julie Jehenny. The granddaughter joins us once again as we pick back up on our podcast series. If you've missed the first three, uh, you're going to want to sign up today, tradcatnight.org, so you can get caught up. We're going to be picking back up. It's going to be about a three-hour-long podcast. Uh, I would say at least two hours, probably closer to three. We're going to try to make this one a video interview as well, so you can see Xavier and Isabel in this one, folks. So we've got some huge, absolutely huge podcast slash video interviews uh, coming over the next uh, 72 hours or so. You're not going to want to miss that. Now, let, let me get everyone caught up to date. Uh, with the latest here at the website, uh, I posted, my goodness, 40 plus pieces of uh, information today, one of which uh, is in relation to more Antichrist orbs, UFO propaganda slash demons of the air. Yes, flying objects now are being seen over Kansas City. Drudge Report was reported upon hitting mainstream news. I told you years ago, this is all preliminary to the arrival of the Antichrist. And if you go to shareinternational.org and you don't believe me, You'll see that these orbs uh, and what they call Maitreya's star sign is preliminary. I break that down. I have a whole Antichrist podcast series, folks. Uh, for you paid members, uh, it's hidden behind the paywall. You sign up and you can get hooked up to uh, not only the False Prophet podcast series, but also uh, the Antichrist um, podcast series. And we break down who this character is, what he's all about, and you're not going to want to miss that. Um, uh, what else we have today? Um, I did a premium podcast, which I try to do uh, every few days. It was entitled The Night is Far Spent, and I cover all the latest church news, uh, apostasy news. I call cover all the latest current events in that one today. I also cover my latest uh, article, as well as a specific message given to the notable Catholic mystic Blessed Aiello concerning just how close we are to God's wrath. You're not going to want to miss that one. That was about 30-something minutes long. 
I also had on the um, podcast today, after about a half a year layoff for you Catholics out there, Dr. Paul Byrne, which some of you, some of you may recognize him from uh, doing a lot of uh, interviews, uh, most uh, notably uh, Fatima Center. He's done conferences there. We rehashed the topic of or organ donation. I put him on the spot with a couple uh, questions uh, in which he, he thoroughly answered, I, I must say. And uh, so Dr. Paul Byrne from the Life Guardian Foundation joined the podcast today. It's a very informative talk. Uh, I must admit, uh, he was do, did an excellent job of explaining Catholic uh, teaching in this area. I also put out my own article. I try to do articles just about every day. But why hasn't the Fifth Marian Dogma been proclaimed yet? And uh, some conciliars actually get this right, uh, which is good to see. And it's important to cover this topic, given so much talk about a coming Fifth Marian Dogma, in which, uh, you know, even some modernists, even some conciliars get this right, including uh, Mark Miravalli, who I uh, used to play basketball with up at Franciscan. He, does, he has done a phenomenal job collecting quotes and... Uh, it just comes down to the timing uh, of this all. But in any case, I get into this topic uh, in detail. Uh, so you're not going to want to miss uh, that article on the website today. I just finished that about four or five hours ago. But really to highlight this particular podcast, uh, for those who missed my talk on Ramola D reports, you can check that out on her YouTube channel. At least, it's, I'm, I'm, at least I think it's still there. I've been noticing some of my media appearances are disappearing as they're censoring me violently uh, on YouTube. Not only my YouTube channel, but just my media appearances. Uh, in any case, we call this one the Beast System. Absolute brain control. And the information that Ramola brings to the table today is quite compelling. It's quite scary. Uh, to be honest with you, well, I don't even use the word scary, but it's just, it's eye-opening. It's alarming to see not only the technology that they have in place, folks, uh, just how accelerated everything is getting. They have certain programs in which uh, they want in place by 2020. Again, this is all preliminary to the arrival of the Antichrist, the whole Mark of the Beast system. But in general, we talked about man playing God. We talked about brain research and the nefarious government projects uh, that tie in with that. Uh, we talk mainstream media passing these various technologies off as friendly and as normal and as if it's needed for society. Uh, we talked mind control. I bring into the discussion the telepathic um, aspect of the Antichrist. Those of you who've been following my apostolate know I've been know I've been warning you uh, about this uh, particular aspect of the arrival of the Antichrist. Get all the details uh, at tradcatnight.org. In any case, we talked uh, DARPA artificial brain uh how can we cope in such an evil world we sit back and really process this i kind of put her on the spot and and you're going to want to hear what she has to say in regards to this but how do we cope in such uh, an evil world uh we also got into remote medical monitoring uh very interesting a new term for me so i was glad that ramola broke that down uh being that new verbiage to me now folks for those of you who are not aware, Trad Cat Night, we're the number one ranked Catholic channel, top 15 Christian channel, according to Feedspot. My special guest podcast list is truly second to none, uh, pushing aside even the Christian aspect of it. Uh, I would put my podcast list up against anyone. And uh, we've got an awful lot of guests coming onto the program. I'm already pre-booked pretty much to the end of next month <laughs> that we're really picking up. Uh, over the last uh, few weeks, I've got a lot of new guests coming in July, a lot of big name guests. I'm working on a few more uh, actually as well, but for those of you who are not privy to Trad Cat Night, and again, this is going to be the only website you need, tradcatnight.org, for the tribulation ahead. As social media uh, censorship rises, Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube, going down the drain, you're going to be searching, you're going to be wanting the truth. You know you can't find it in the mainstream, and, and you should know you can't find it in the false right crowd as well. Uh, being a, a controlled controlled opposition, basically. Get over to tradcatnight.org today and take that leap of faith, so to speak. Uh, so for those who are not privy, we're a Catholic website covering the apostasy in the Catholic Church, the coming one world religion, formalized, that is. Uh, the New Age in general, uh, the false prophet Antichrist, the real third secret of Fatima, we expose Zionism, Islam. I cover various days of Lot uh, material, if you will, latest earth changes, Planet X, yep, that's real. Uh, very much is in Catholic prophecy. It's in scripture. 
and so on and so forth. I cover health, GMOs, prepper, survivalism, geopolitics, economics, geoengineering, the Illuminati, secret societies, Freemasonry, mainstream media, brainwashing, of course, UN Agenda 2030, satanic principles, Mark of the Beast uh, system, the whole UFO, alien agenda, Project Blue Beam, Harp, Scalar weaponry, weather wars, chemtrails, vaccines, global depopulation, folks, and so much more. And again, we're a fast-growing community. We've got about a 99%, you know, bordering 98, 99% a renewal rate. It means when people sign up, just about everyone is renewing every month. Uh, so you're going to find out even after the first probably 72 hours. It's an awful lot of information. There's an awful lot of podcasts. Uh, an awful lot of analysis on my end. This is all that you're truly going to need, folks, going forward. Uh, again, I can't really get through, uh, you know, July's, uh, some of the names for July. I'm hoping to do an update on that. But I will be on the Kev Baker show now that I'm thinking about it uh, on Monday. Or no, excuse me. Monday is going to be Richie Allen, the big show out there in the UK. 12.30 to 2 p.m. I'll be on Richie Allen. The 25th, I'll be on Kev Baker live. And uh, we've got a few more media appearances lined up as well. Folks, get over to tradcatnight.org. Go down into the description box of this video right now on YouTube. You'll see the two little words there, show more. Click that. It opens up in that first link there that says become a member. Accessing the website. Go ahead and click that green hyperlink or whatever it is, blue or green. It takes you to Stripe, which is a payment processor. It's faster, safer, and easier than even PayPal. I've been using it for years. Not one problem. And... Uh, Hope to see a lot more new faces. We've seen an awful lot of new faces coming to the website over the past 48 to 72 hours with some recent media appearances uh, that I've been doing. So getting new people to the website, uh, pra perhaps some old people who maybe stepped away from the apostolate, uh, thought I was nuts or something, now realize, well, it's not it's not as crazy as I first initially thought. And they come, they come back to the website because they know we're, we're uh, the real deal here. In any case, folks, until next time, Stay safe. God bless. Let's keep our eagle's wings spread in faith and hope. Ave Maria.